And happy you're joining us for this exhibition matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Chris, when the Bucs and the Falcons fielded subpar teams, there was no special element to their matchups. But now that they've grown accustomed to success, this rivalry is heated up and has become a game that you don't want to miss. Yeah, Gus, the Falcons and the Bucs have put some pretty good defenses on the field in recent years. And those defenders get a little more hyped up when they face off against their NFC South foes. But as of late, these offenses have really started to click, which makes for some great games between these two teams. This one should be no different. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time. And we've got two teams really ready to rumble. Number five has the ball all teed up, and he looks ready to get this game underway. The stop was made by number 27. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Pitch right. Hit and drop behind the line. And with that, let's take a look at some of the key starters on offense. A group that hopes to put up some points in this one. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. It's Tim, and he still makes the catch. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them up little tighter maybe even go to the man coverage yeah it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback he does a great job in recognition and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there throws it to the middle and so now let's take a look and see some of the key personnel on this defensive squad, who will try to stop this offense from doing anything in this one? They're looking at a second and seven. Ball on their own 47. Makes the throw over the middle. He's dropped down around the 42-yard line by Allen. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Tucks and runs. He's free. 
Breaks through the line for a gain of seven. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Steps and throws to the left side. He's brought down right around the 20-yard line by Neal. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 20. Barber on the run. And he'll lose yardage on the play. Well, those defenders get paid too. And every once in a while, they win the battle. Clearly that time, they were all over this offensive line. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Flips it out short to his left. Number 11 was the intended receiver. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Looking for a man. You bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks and we saw it there. So the kick team on to try this 37-yarder. And he makes it. Number 19 is responsible for the game's first points. They take a 3-0 lead. Number nine will be kicking off. Number 14 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. All right, they just came up with a field goal. Let's see what this offense can do. Come out, be aggressive. Let's get some points on the board. And from Boston College, onto the field, steps the fourth-year quarterback, Matt Ryan. The offense will start at the 17. First down and 10. And he throws it away. And let's take a look at some of the key players of this offensive unit who, as a group, hope to have a great game in this one. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. And the ball on their own 17. Freeman gets it on the counter. Taking the field is a defense that doesn't get a lot of attention, but is extremely solid, especially against the run. And it starts 
with linebacker Daryl Smith from Georgia Tech, who's a player starting to get the recognition he deserves. Yeah, he really has, and it's good to see because Daryl Smith is a good football player. He's great against the run, but has come up with some big interceptions in the passing game as well. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. And they give it to him. It's a catch. And he shows some fancy footwork to get both feet in bounds. You know, I think he's part ballerina almost out there. Not only does he have the concentration to pull in catches, but he has superb body control that allows him to get both feet in, despite the fact that all his momentum is carrying him out of bounds. It's a combination that has made this quarterback very happy over the years. Makes for an easy target, that's for sure. Yeah, and a tough target to defend as well. The quarterback can deliver the ball in a place where either the receiver catches it or the ball simply goes out of bounds. Second down and nine. Ball on their own 34. Looking. Fires it to the left. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. They line up at the 48. And the play clock is at zero. This should be delay a delay of game. game. The offense, the offense is moving in the wrong direction after that. For this offense to be effective, they have to stay on schedule. And when you get a penalty like that, it allows the defense to begin to bring some pressure. Dangerous situation for the offense. It's the tailback. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. That'll bring us to a second and long situation. They weren't able to get the playoff. That will cost them five. They've run out of time. It's a delay of game. As a quarterback, you just have to train yourself to take at least one glance at that play clock. That is completely on the quarterback. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Four yards on that play. They'll face third down again here. He's looking towards the left side. Well, that's an example of a very good play against pressure. They were coming after him, but the quick throw beat him. It's fourth down. The Falcons line up to punt. Well, their offense will now come onto the field in excellent position, already leading in this game. They'll take over at the 20. It's first and 10.
Rolling out to his right. Fires a strike to the right. Intercepted. Finds room along the sideline. To the 20. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him. But when you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Flips it out short. And the Falcons will have a first and goal. There's nothing better for a quarterback than to have a big body guy like that that can catch the football. Nice play. First and goal. Dumps it short. Comes down with it. Touchdown! Well, this offense certainly off to a good start here today, and let's see if they can continue to capitalize on that early touchdown to put them up by three. Bryant puts it through, and it's a four-point game. Atlanta holds a four-point lead. Number five is just about ready to kick this one away. Smith stands back to field the kick. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Collins was there for the stop. They'll get the ball here at the 21. First down, 10 to go. Barber off the left side. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Facing a second at 11. Number three hands it off. Number 43. He's tackled around the 25 yard line by Babineau. It's a third and five situation. Looks right, throws. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Not a very creative sequence of play calling that time. They just never seem to get anything going on that drive. So it's fourth down. The Buccaneers are lining up to punt this one away. Number 14 will take off at the 31. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Oh. 
They'll work the right side. from their own 38-yard line. He's searching for a receiver. He goes down. Sack. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play, huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double-team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. Goes through his progression. A good job there by the quarterback to fit that ball in there with good coverage. Yeah, and the defensive back didn't really do anything wrong there. The quarterback just made a good throw. We'll see if he starts to play him a bit more aggressively, maybe initiate some contact and get that receiver out of his comfort zone going forward. They line up at the 48. They pitch it, drop behind the line. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Yeah, it's second down and 11 to go. Ball at midfield. Freeman on the give. He's wrestled down at about the 43-yard line by David. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 7-3. to three. Welcome back to Tampa. The offense facing another third down here. Throws middle of the field, and it's tipped away. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Fourth down. The Falcons are lining up to punt it away. Here's the punt. Wait, they're going to throw it. Picked off. Number 27 was there to bring him down. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 38. Barber on the right side. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line by Jones. From their own 39-yard line. Passes short right side. He's dropped down right around the 46-yard line by Jones. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Uh -oh. 
Short pass to his left. He's brought down around the 44-yard line by Alford. First down and 10. They get it out there on the toss. He's tackled around the 37-yard line by Allen. They'll need about three yards here on second down. He's going to his right. Throws. He's wrestled down at about the 25-yard line by number 55. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. He rolls out to the right. Here comes the heat. Flips it out short to his left. He doesn't get back to the line. Man, that one goes for a loss of seven. You got to give the defense a lot of credit on that one. They made a little correction at the line of scrimmage, and they had that play pegged right from the start. So they'll face a second and 17 situation. Ball on the 32-yard line. They go with the toss. Watch out, he's got space. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Nice running for a gain of six. Now third down and 11. In heavy traffic. Moves up and the defense has him. Sack. They call on the field goal unit. It's up, and it's good. He really came through on the long-distance attempt. You don't make a kick like that without a perfect hold and a perfect snap. But let's give this kicker some credit. That was an extraordinary effort. Tampa Bay is ready to kick this one off. Number 14 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Smith was there for the stop. The offense will take over at the 22. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ryan hands it off. He lost yardage on the play. So many times it's up to that backside blocker to get his guy on the ground, and it sounds ugly, but typically those guys are chopping at their knees and trying to knock them off their feet so there's some cutback lanes. They'll face second down and 10.
Surveys the field. Throws to his right. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line by number 30. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Ryan with the pitch. Tries to juke the defender, and he will be tackled. He hasn't had a good first half at all. Just can't seem to get through this defense. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own, 38. They hand it off. He's dropped down at about the 39-yard line by number 28. Facing third down now and seven. Ball on their own, 39. Makes the throw over the middle. He's brought down at about the 37-yard line by Smith. They line up at the 37. Steps and throws to the left side. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Jones was the intended receiver. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Has a man open in the middle. He's tackled around the 32-yard line by number 23. A five-yard gain on the pass. So another third down coming up for the offense. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's wrestled down around the 26-yard line by number 53. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 26. They go with the pitch to the right. He didn't get back to the line. And so the defense gives up some yards after the flag. Gus, everybody knows that football is a game of emotion. But unchecked emotion is a bad thing. You have to be able to control yourself on the football field. That's a big mistake. Dumps it out right. They were trying to work that ball down the field. There really wasn't anything there. They dump it off and not much underneath either. And they line up at the 10.
pitch right. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. And they keep moving the chain. That'll be another first down. I know NFL fans love seeing the big plays, but NFL coaches love seeing exactly what's going on now with this offense. Six first downs on this drive. Their defense is resting on the bench. This is picture perfect. That's a touchdown. You know, more and more, we're seeing halfbacks on the goal line with their ability to make little moves in small spaces, getting the ball and sticking in for the touchdown. Extra point is good. Atlanta holds an eight-point advantage. Atlanta is just about ready to kick this one away. Smith is back to receive the kick. And it's fielded at the four. He brings it back to the 23. Number 36 was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 23. First down and 10. He's looking towards the left side. It's tipped away. Great defense. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. Second down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Here's the give. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line by Jarrett. Now they'll face a third and six situation. Rolling out to his right, buying time with his feet. He goes down again amidst a heavy pass rush. Yeah, that's something he's got to improve if he wants to reach the next level. It's almost like he takes himself out of the play the moment he hears footsteps. You just can't keep putting your team in a hole by taking sacks. Just throw it away. Man, not to mention, he takes an inordinate amount of hits. You know, that's a good point, Gus. The NFL is really geared to protect the quarterback, but when he has the ball, he's going to take some shots. Number 14 will take off at the 31. He brings it out to the 39. 
Cross was there for the stop. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Short throw to the right. He's dropped down right around the 32-yard line by Golston. So they line up at the 32. He found some daylight, and we have a flag on the play. Looks like this one might be coming back. Jones will be flagged on the play. So the penalty pushes them back for a first and long. He throws short. He's brought down around the 24-yard line by number 30. And two yards away here on second down. And with that run, his team will have a fresh set of downs to work with. It's first and ten. He's searching for a receiver. He does a good job to hang on to the ball. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. That was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. Atlanta lines up for a first and goal here, trying to make it a two-score game. Looked like someone might have jumped. Matthews is guilty of moving early. Atlanta with a first and goal, with their eyes on going up by two scores. Elects to run for the first down. And that's so frustrating for a defense when you think you have everybody covered. It looks great, and then the quarterback takes off and scrambles in for a touchdown. The PAT is up and good.
Number five gets ready to kick it away. Smith stands back to field the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it back to the 25. Reed was there to bring him down. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Hand off to the right. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line by Jarrett. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. And Gus, I always thought defensive penalties were so much more deflating than offensive penalties. You know, as an offense, you get a chance to make up for it. On defense, though, usually it's big yardage and automatic first downs. Throws it to the middle. The pass is tipped. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. So they'll face a second and 10 on their own, let's say 43. Going deep toward the left sideline. It's third down, 10 yards, four first. On their own, let's say 43. Goes through his progression. Wants the end zone! Looks like he made the catch, but there's no signal yet. And the call is a touchdown! the point after and we've come to halftime here the score is 21 to 13 Falcons Welcome back to Tampa. Atlanta will get it first here in the second half. It's fielded at the two. Gets it to the 21. Bond was there for the stop. The Falcons have put together a couple of nice drives back to back. Let's see if the defense can adjust. The offense will take over at the 21. First down, 10 to go. He's looking to run. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Who says quarterbacks aren't athletes? He looked pretty good on that play. Nice job. Found the hole. Got upfield. Got down without getting injured. Good play.
And we'll have a first down and 10. He's wrestled down at about the 47-yard line by David. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Fires a strike to the right. He's got room. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line by number 53. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. First down and 10. The ball is on the 39-yard line. Hands it off. He's dropped down around the 39-yard line by David. It's second down and nine to go. The ball is on the 39-yard line. Has a man to his right. He's brought down around the 32-yard line by Grimes. Hooper caught that one for a gain of seven. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Ryan gives it up the middle. He's tackled around the 25-yard line by McCoy. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Number 80 is flagged for a hold on the play. They're looking at a third down and 11. Surveys the field, and they get to it. And that couldn't have come at a better time. It will now be fourth down. Effective blitzing can really destroy an offensive game plan because you're so used to having time to develop plays down the field. Now you come with a good blitz, and the quarterback just doesn't have time to get it off. The sack brings up a fourth and very long situation. And now their offense will come onto the field in great position to get back into this game. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. Short throw to the left. He's wrestled down around the 33-yard line by Neal. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball is on their own 33. Has a man short to his left. And he's tackled at about the 45-yard line by Alford. First down, 10 to go. Uh -oh. 
Number three, pitch out. He's dropped down around the 47-yard line by number 44. From their own 47-yard line. Has a man open in the middle. He's brought down around the 45-yard line by True Font. And we'll have a first down and 10. Rolls to his right. Short pass to his left. And he's knocked out at the 43-yard line. Cross picks up two yards with the grab. Second down and eight here. Pitch right. Nice gain of about seven. Seven yard gain on the play. short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. They'll throw for the first. It's a quarterback sack. Loss of three. So, it's fourth down. The Buccaneers lining up to punt. Well, their offense will now come onto the field in excellent position, already leading in this game. They'll start at the 20. First down and 10. Throws to his left. He's loose and running strong. It's always kind of funny to think about with all the big guys that play the game of football, sometimes it's the little wide receivers that scare you the most. It's first and ten. Ryan pitches out to the left. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Facing a second and 13 situation here. Flips it out short to his left. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Gets a few extra yards before finally being tackled at the 24 yard line.
The big gain through the air sets up the offense with another first and ten. He's looking towards the left side. This is close. Did he come up with it? It's ruled a catch. About as close as you can get right there. A shoelace, maybe just one cleat down. That's all it takes in this game. Dumps it out left. Touchdown, Falcons! Those big pullbacks, sometimes they have bricks for hands, but not this guy. He can hang on to it with anybody. Bryant tacks on the extra point. So, time winding down in the third with the score. The Falcons, 28. The Buccaneers, 13. Atlanta will be kicking off. Number 11 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And the tackle was made by number 27. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. They'll go to work at the 27-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They'll work the right side. He's tackled right around the 34-yard line by number 36. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Again, he's wrestled down at about the 37-yard line by Campbell. It's third down now and just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Looks left, here's a short pass. And he's tackled around the 42 yard line by Neal. First down, 10 to go. down around the 24-yard line by Neal. First and 10 once again after the big game through the air. Number three will hand it off. He's brought down right around the 20-yard line by Campbell. So we'll head to the fourth with our score, 28-13.
Welcome back to Tampa. The Buccaneers can make it a one-possession game if they score here. They've got the ball in the red zone as we get set for the final period. Throws to his right. It's picked! The Falcons get pick number two of the game. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball is on their own 11. And looks left. Throws. He's tackled around the 27-yard line by number 30. First down and 10. The pocket collapsing. I always thought training camps were done backwards. They always start with the simple protections, the simple plays. If I were coaching on day one, all I would do is practice picking up blitzes. If you can pick up blitzes, you can block anything. Following the sack, it's now second and long. Throws it to the middle. Interception! He's wrestled down at about the 33-yard line by Ryan. It's first and 10. They're on their 33. Throws it over the middle of the field. And he's tackled at about the 23-yard line by Campbell. That's a 10-yard gain. Makes the throw over the middle. He's dropped down at about the 15-yard line by Campbell. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Short throw to the left. He's brought down at about the 13-yard line by Campbell. The goal line, only a dozen yards away now. Handoff up the middle. He's tackled around the nine-yard line by Upshaw. They get three yards on the play. The offense sets up eight yards away from the end zone here. Has a man out to his right. Picked off in the end zone. The Falcons are having good success taking it away. That's their third INT of the game. They take over at the 20. Uh. 
They run a counter. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by number 91. And from their own 21-yard line. Ryan hands it off. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line by Smith. from their own 37-yard line. They give it off here. He's dropped down at about the 37-yard line by McCoy. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Has a man short to his left. He's brought down around the 44-yard line by Alexander. Jones picks up maybe seven with that catch. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Short pass to his left. Knocked out of bounds at the 50. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. First down, 10 to go. Ball at midfield. Looks right, throws. Uh-oh, watch out! He's tackled at about the 11 by Smith. So it's now first and 10 after the big pass play. On the ground, left side. He's wrestled down right around the 12-yard line by number 21. So, now they're just 10 yards away. Flips it out short. And the Falcons will have a first and goal. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. That was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. Atlanta, it's about to extend the lead to three scores. Flips it out short to his left. Great pressure that time to force that off-target throw. You know when you're bringing pressure, you're going to leave somebody open down the field. You just have to hope you get there before that quarterback finds him. Second down, goal to goal. They go at the back. And he's in for the touchdown. So with that, they took advantage of the interception and added points to the board.
Extra point is good. And over six minutes still left in the final quarter with the score. The Falcons, 35. The Buccaneers, 13. Number five, looks ready to kick it away. Smith is back to receive the kick. Gets it to the 21. Wheeler was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 21 yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Number three with the give. Gets five on the run. They hurry to the line. Surveys the field. Passes out to his right. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. So after conferring, they're going to say he was out of bounds. He just missed coming down with a great catch there. It's a third and five situation. Fires a strike to the right. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Fourth down. The Buccaneers line up to punt. Number 14 will take it at the 21. He gets back to the 29 before being stopped. Robinson was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 29-yard line. First down and 10. He's going to his right. Throws. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line by David. It's first and ten. Freeman gets the ball left side. He's dropped down right around the 46-yard line by David. They're looking at a second and seven. Ball on their own, 46. <laughs> now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Under heavy pressure. The offensive line has really struggled so far in this one. This defense has been getting consistent pressure throughout. Right now, they're just beating them to the punch. They're a little quicker off the ball, a little stronger at the point of impact.
So they're looking at a second and long here after the sack. Goes through his progression. Throws to his right. Flag on the play. He's brought down at about the 29-yard line by Robinson. Back. And that's a good call because it's such a dangerous play. It's rough enough when you get blocked in the back, but when you get blocked below the waist in the back, that could lead to injury. Fires a laser down the middle. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Alexander. It's a pickup of six yards. And that brings up third down and eight yards to go. Hands off and not much room there. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. It's fourth down. The Falcons are lining up to punt it away. Back to punt. It's a fake. He's looking to pass. And it's incomplete. Change up possession. They'll set up shop at the 41-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Good coverage downfield, and they got him. And that's sack number four in the game. The pressure by this defense has been there all day, and offensively, they're just struggling trying to come up with a protection scheme that works. Obvious passing situation here on second and long. Searching for an open man. Picked off! He's wrestled down at about the 49-yard line by number 11. And we'll have a first down and 10. Freeman gets the carry. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line by number 30. First down and 10. <laughs> Feeds it to the back. He's dropped down around the 29-yard line by number 28. It's now second and five. Ball on the 29-yard line. Go. 
He lost yardage on the play. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense's big men, they won the battle. It's now third and six. That'll do it from Raymond James Stadium. Stick around for the top highlights from this game. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.